If you saw him on the street, for the most part, you would think Craig was a typical young man. Matter of fact, people come up to Craig all the time and try to talk to him, but then they find out that he's not so typical. We're lucky that Craig has traits of typical folks. However, he's never been able to carry on a conversation or truly look us in the eye. Craig was diagnosed with a disorder that is increasing alarmingly among children. Autism. At this time, 1 in 88 children born are diagnosed with this developmental disorder. Those with autism can have a whole range of behavioral and developmental issues, from lack of speech to lack of social skills, an inability to take care of oneself to self-deprecation. For many, the answers are limited. At the time of Craig's diagnosis, there were so few others like him out there. From that time, it feels like we've been always blazing a trail. After the age of 21, there really isn't a lot out there for these folks that provide them the structure and the safety that they crave, and quite frankly, need to survive. I think that one of the things I learned a long time ago is transition is easier if everybody knows what the person is transitioning to. You have to know what's on the other side of the river. Individuals with autism absolutely require structure in order to show what they know, in order to be available to learn, and in order for the world to be a place that they can access. Um, the anticipation that their day won't look like a regular school day, um, and not fully understanding what's going to happen next um, can, can provoke a lot of anxiety for the students. In the ideal transition, if I were the world, we would know what's on the other side of the river. And so we would start preparing over here, maybe way back when they're in middle school, so that they have the skills so when they cross over that bridge to the world of adult services, they have a chance of being competent, comfortable, and ready to go. Craig's going to need assistance. He'll need assistance forever. And his mom and I won't be around forever. So our concern is what's going to go on when we're no longer here. Pace After 21 is a non-for-profit effort focused on providing viable solutions for the catastrophic number of developmentally aid students transitioning out of the public system and into adult life. Pace After 21 plans to work with families, DHHS, and private enterprise to help find solutions to lifelong learning, companionship, and meaningful work in a safe and secure environment. Our guiding principles are simple. Everyone deserves to live, work, and learn in a safe and secure environment. And that our folks are lifelong learners as are we. And individuals with ASD are highly capable people with important contributions to make to society. If learning ends when they leave the system, then we've wasted 12 to 16 years. To have any child graduate from high school or leave high school and not have purposeful work to go to, a safe home, a place with friends, and a way to feel that they are still a member of our community is a slap in the face to all of the work that that child has put in for years. I think it's absolutely offensive if they don't have a purposeful adulthood. It's necessary. Everyone deserves a life.